Hey there, beautiful people. Welcome to Nanava's Kitchen. It is your sister, Madame, back in the kitchen to make breakfast. Today we're making chicken and sweet potato hash all in one pot. It's going to be mm, so good. Let's jump right in. Chicken is already good to go. I have some chicken thighs, the bone, skin off, and I've chopped them into small bite-sized pieces. So we need to add some flavor to this chicken. So I have some oil here. This is extra virgin olive oil. About two tablespoons of it. Salt. Next ingredient is some crushed black pepper. Granulated garlic. Fennel seeds, smoked paprika, chili powder, our minced garlic also goes in, all purpose seasoning, please use half a cube of chicken bouillon or vegetable bouillon. All right, now let's stir this up to combine everything. We want all the chicken pieces to be coated with the flavor. So our chicken is ready. We're going to let it sit aside for the flavors to mesh, mingle, and marry. M, 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 Ooh, love that. <laughs> the rest of the ingredients needed to complete cooking this hash are potatoes. Today we're using sweet potatoes, which I have diced. We also need some eggs, optional, but you know eggs are great in breakfast. And then we have some diced carrots. We also have some chopped onions, and last but certainly not the least, some finely minced celery. We're going to need a drizzle of oil, just a little bit. So everything is prepped. We are ready to cook. That's the fun part. Now you want to start on medium heat and you want to cook this in a skillet, preferably, or a braiser. Here, a little bit of olive oil, just to get things heating up and pour the chicken in. Now when you pour the chicken in, you want to spread it out. You know, let it just hang out for about two minutes to three minutes, just so it can get a nice sear in it to lock those lovely juices in there. And then go in and start stir frying. You'll want to cook the chicken until it is completely cooked. That's key and that's very essential and crucial. So when you stir fry it, you want to do that an additional maybe three minutes or so. Done! Now you're going to pour that chicken out and don't get rid of those juices. Those lovely bits left in that skillet need to remain in there. Now you're going to pour in your onions, your carrots, and your celery. Oh, make sure you season every layer. Stir it in, cook for about a minute, and then pour your potatoes in there. Stir it to combine. And now we need to cook the potatoes through. So you're going to cover the pot. We're still cooking at medium heat, but we want the potatoes to be nice and tender and cooked perfectly. Make sure you leave the pot covered for about six minutes. It'll take just about that to cook the potatoes through because we cut them into very small pieces. Then go back and give it a stir again. You see all those caramelized bits? This is going to be so good. Now, we want to season a little more. Let's 
stir it in to combine. We are almost done cooking, y'all. Before we take everything off of the heat, you want to give it a little bit of color and brighten the flavors with a fresh herb. Herb of choice today is parsley, but you can also use some chai. Or some scallions. Whatever you prefer will work here. Now let's work on the eggs. For the eggs, as I stated earlier, it is optional, but I love to have eggs in my breakfast. I love this dish because it is great for any time of the day. So enjoy it in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, or even in between. <laughs> Friends, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate you all. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below. And don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. It is chop time. And here in Anaba's Kitchen, chop time is always yes friend. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here. <laughs>